As women, we're very used to having screening tests to try to pick up cancers early. An example of this is the pap smear or a mammogram. One thing that those tests have in common is that we've discovered precancerous cells that lead to each of those conditions. Unfortunately, ovarian cancer has no precancerous cell. So by the time we find an abnormality on a test or a lab result, it's already a cancer and already at risk for spreading. Because there is no screening test for ovarian cancer, we often catch women quite late in the disease. About 80% of women will come in with stage three or stage four cancer, which means the cancer has already spread. I will often see women in the clinic who say to me, I had my yearly pap smear, I had my yearly pelvic exam, how could this have happened? Well, the problem is a pap smear checks cervical cancer. It doesn't pick up ovarian cells, and a pelvic exam often isn't sufficient to check the ovaries from masses. A lot of women are referred to my practice and will tell me that they've been receiving routine pelvic ultrasounds and CA-125s, so they must be okay from any risk of ovarian cancer. One of the most upsetting things is that that's actually not true. So a pelvic ultrasound is a way that we take pictures to look at the uterus and the ovaries. The problem is, by the time we see a concerning mass on the ovary, you're already at risk for an ovarian cancer to have spread. It's really important to note also that when you get routine ultrasounds, we'll see all sorts of things. We may see normal cysts, we may see benign processes, and this can cause a lot of stress for women. No imaging test is able to, with 100%, differentiate whether a mass is benign or malignant. In addition, a CA-125, which is a blood test, it's often used in treating ovarian cancer, is not really good for screening. This test is often positive in women with ovarian cancer. In fact, about 80% of women with ovarian cancer will have an elevation in this level. However, it's also elevated for all sorts of benign reasons and can go up with things as simple as having your period. In addition, about 20% of women with ovarian cancer will have a totally negative CA-125. So as a blood marker, it's not effective either.